Manipulation is a subtle and sometimes invisible force that twists truth and bends people's actions to serve hidden agendas. It's not just a modern issue. The Bible is filled with stories and warnings against such deceitful tactics. God's Word exposes manipulation for the harm it brings, both to those who practice it and those who fall victim to it. Today we'll explore how Scripture defines manipulation, examples of its impact, and how God calls us to live above it, anchored in honesty and integrity. What the Bible says about manipulation In essence, manipulation is the act of trying to control or sway others through deceit, often for personal gain. While the Bible doesn't directly mention the term, its teachings address the essence of manipulation, highlighting it as an act of dishonesty that leads people away from God's ways. Proverbs 26 verses 24 to 26 offers a vivid warning. Enemies disguise themselves with their lips, but in their hearts, they harbor deceit. Though their speech is charming, do not believe them, for seven abominations fill their hearts. This verse reveals that manipulators can appear friendly and persuasive while hiding harmful intentions beneath the surface. Biblical Examples of Manipulation The Bible doesn't just caution against manipulation, it provides powerful examples that reveal the devastation it can cause. Jacob's Deception In Genesis 27, Jacob and his mother, Rebecca, manipulate his father, Isaac, to steal the blessing meant for his brother, Esau. They disguise Jacob, deceiving Isaac, who is old and nearly blind. This manipulation led to deep family wounds and years of separation. The story shows how dishonesty and manipulation can create rifts that last a lifetime, reminding us that pursuing personal gain through deceit ultimately leads to loss. Delilah's Influence Over Samson Another striking example is Delilah's manipulation of Samson in Judges 16. Delilah repeatedly pressures Samson into revealing the secret of his strength, using her influence to break down his defenses until he eventually confides in her. This deception leads to Samson's capture and suffering. Delilah's actions illustrate how manipulators exploit vulnerabilities, a warning for us to be discerning about whom we allow to shape our lives. Why Manipulation is Spiritually Dangerous Manipulation not only harms others but also distances us from God. It's rooted in a lack of respect for others' free will and often stems from selfish ambition. James 1 verse 26 says, Those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues, deceive themselves, and their religion is worthless. Manipulation, by its very nature, distorts truth and destroys trust, traits directly opposed to God's values of love and honesty. Attempting to control or influence others through manipulation is a form of playing God in their lives, as it disregards the unique plans and purposes God has for each individual. Such behavior not only harms relationships but distances us spiritually from our Creator, who calls us to walk in humility, truth, and respect for others. How to Recognize and Guard Against Manipulation Scripture encourages us to be discerning in the face of manipulation. In Matthew 10 verse 16, Jesus advises, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. This verse encourages us to exercise wisdom and vigilance without losing our kindness or integrity. It's a call to be perceptive, not easily deceived by appearances or charming words, but to rely on God's guidance to discern others' true intentions. Ephesians 6 verse 11 instructs us, Put on the full armor of God, so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. The armor of God, truth, righteousness, and faith acts as a shield against manipulation, helping us stay strong and focused on God's truth even when others attempt to sway us. Embracing integrity and truth in our lives. 
Integrity is the antidote to manipulation. In Colossians 3 verses 9 to 10, we're told, Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge, in the image of its creator. As followers of Christ, we are called to live lives marked by honesty, transparency, and faithfulness. When we choose truth over manipulation, we honor God and strengthen our relationships. Proverbs 12 verse 22 says, The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in people who are trustworthy. Living in truth builds trust, invites God's blessing, and becomes a testimony of his love and goodness. By rejecting manipulation and embracing integrity, we reflect the character of Christ, becoming a beacon of hope and honesty to those around us. Manipulation may be a common tactic in the world, but as believers, we're called to a higher standard, one of truth, respect, and love. If you've been hurt by manipulation, God sees your pain and offers healing. And if you've struggled with manipulative behaviors, know that forgiveness and transformation are possible through Christ. Let's commit to lives of integrity, relying on God's wisdom to guide our actions and choices. Amen. Thanks for watching, and if you're ready to keep going deeper into God's Word, watch the next video to continue growing in faith and understanding.